wanted a garden house and I wanted to uh, be able to pot plants. I want to be able to sit in it and read a magazine. I want to be able to entertain and I wanted to also use as a greenhouse. So about a year ago we staked out where I wanted it to go. This used to be a playground area for the kids and since they've outgrown it we've gotten rid of that. And um, you know for one thing or another it keeps getting put on the back burner. Other things are more of a priority to fix in our old 1820 farmhouse. So this summer it's going to happen. It's going to happen quick. Here is my design inspiration. I put together this board and I've collected pictures from magazines and from Pinterest and from online. And, um, and this is my color scheme is going to be a dark green with this light mossy green color. And it's all going to be put together with refurbished windows. Fortunately, Sean's uncle owns a warehouse and they have reinstalled all brand new windows so those windows came to me and so that is how it's going to be made possible so with this being my design inspiration this is going to be the front door and we're going to i'm going to have a little cupola or patio whatever an overhang an overhang right here with poles that i already have and we're going to open up and we're gonna walk in here. And what I'm thinking right now is that a couple wingback chairs that I have saved, I have all kinds of materials saved, stashed in our barn, downstairs, whatever. So right here, maybe a table and chairs right here. And back here, this could be my potting bench. I wanna have a, a nice size potting bench here where I can plant, replant, sow seeds, all of that stuff. And over here, I'm going to have a sink. And I have an old concrete sink that I had refinished. And it's been sitting in my garage for 10 years. And it's finally going to have a home. And I cannot wait. So right here in the middle, this is going to be the middle of my garden house. And I can't wait. So let me take you out the back door. So we're going to open up the back door here and come out. And I'm going to have, this is about 15 feet wide. So I'm going to have 15 feet wide by about 10 feet, if, if that much, maybe 8 feet, but a small little patio that I've also been collecting rocks that I've been bringing home that I'm going to lay and uh, have moss put in between the cracks so it'll look really great. And like I said, I've been collecting things for years. I have all of my bricks over here <laughs> that are going to be my brick floor. I'm going to lay all of my bricks in a herringbone pattern and this house is going to be completely dried in. So while I'm going to lay my bricks in a herringbone pattern, I'm going to dust it with concrete and lightly spray it so that will finish it off and make them really sturdy and that will finish the floor. But I can't wait to get started. We're hoping to break ground this week and I'm going to bring you along and it's going to be a series. So stay tuned and come watch. Breaking ground today, very excited. Today is May 14th, 2020. First of all, we have to start with a level ground and we're very fortunate to have a neighbor that has a backhoe. So he came over and he started digging and we came across some rocks, but it wasn't a big deal. He was able to level it out and we're happy. While well, summer has come and gone, I have hid Sean's golf clubs and the materials are getting delivered next week. Thank God. <laughs> 